Okay, it's taken a few weeks to finish this challenge because, of course, we all made our cards, then we all sent them off, then we all got them back, then we all had to make our books. And I, of course, decided to include a bunch of index cards that I've received from a few different challenges that I've participated in or issued um, and put them all into one little book. I thought that was the best thing. I have a box of these 4 by 6 index card tab dividers. These are by Mead. I got these on Amazon. I'll try to put a link to some of these things in the description below. Um, and they're just blank. There's nothing on either side of them. They're nice, super thick paper. And I at first was going to just use them as dividers in the little book and do something else for the cover. And I, I really just wanted to use them, so I did. For some of the index cards, I had, you saw me put them in these large clear plastic pockets. These are actually recipe card sleeves. And then I taped them to um, the scrapbooking paper and then stapled it down. I may still put a little piece of clear um, tape on these edges um, to just keep everything taped down. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I may do that. For right now, I think they're fine. Um, I did add a few staples, as you, excuse me, as you saw, to help keep the sleeve down in place. Um, you hear my answering machine? <laughs> it's only it's only salespeople that call. Anyway, um, on some of the smaller cards, I actually have these clear adhesive vinyl pockets. These are the uh, recipe card sleeves. Um, again, I got these from Amazon, and if I can remember to do it, I will put a link to where to buy these on Amazon in the description below. And I had a bunch of them left over, so I kind of want to use them up anyway. For the smaller cards, I have these clear vinyl pockets that are self-adhesive on the back. The pocket's completely clear, as you can see here. They stick super well, and they're fabulous. I actually had some smaller ones for my... Um, travel journal, my year of my life journal that I've been using and I've sent a few off in Happy Mail and when I went to go order more of them I of course couldn't figure out where I ordered them from so I just started searching on Amazon and I found a bunch of them in different sizes on Amazon so yay for me. Um, so I got these larger, these are 3 by 5 ones and they work great for the smaller cards and they stick really well to the scrapbooking paper so I was able to use those they're just fabulous. I love them. And then I also, you saw, decorated the cover. I love that with some bits and pieces. One of you all sent me this letter G, die cut G. I don't know who sent it to me, but it was from Happy Mail. And so I used that. And on the inside of, I did label the tabs that were appropriate for the different challenges. And on the inside of that tab, I wrote a description of what that challenge was um, and who participated, if I remembered. So, and isn't it fat and chunky and beautiful? <laughs> I love that when they do that because they're so full. And I used that, um, uh, this is the paper tape. You get it at the office supply store in the shipping department. It's the old fashioned kind of shipping tape that you have to get wet. Um, I was reminded of it by my friend Michelle M. from Lady Baloo Studios, and um, I have a giant roll of it, and it's my new favorite bookbinding thing. I love it. It's so easy, so I used it to glue everything together. Um, the speed through is coming up on how to do this. I hope that you um, enjoy it and watch it. If you have any questions, leave something in the comments below.
Okay, how did you like that? I hope that you liked that a lot. Alrighty. So this little book is full of challenge cards from a bunch of different challenges and I just love it. It's fabulous. I love the way it turned out. Of course for the purposes of this video um, we're talking about the design team challenge for my line of rubber stamps and didn't the girls all do a great job so very very different from each other and from mine. I love them. If you're interested in purchasing my stamps, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below. As of the filming of this video, everything is in stock, but I can get more in a few days. So if I run out of stock, you can basically pre-order and I will ship. You'll be the first to ship when they come out. I have unmounted red rubber in stock. I can get cling. If you are interested in cling, send me a message. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support this channel if you can. There's a bunch of different ways. There's some cards at the end of the video, that sort of thing. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make an index card for a friend. Use one of my stamps. Ta hashtag me in there. Posting on social media. You can do hashtag Gina B. Aarons. I'll find it. <laughs> um, send one off in a rack. You know, some of, some of these, this one I did, it was sent off in a rack to somebody. They weren't expecting it. They didn't know about it. A nice piece of art to cheer up a friend. Think about it. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll see you later.